Hey, my sweethearts, welcome back to my channel. I hope you and yours are doing fantastic today. Kiki's, my name is your first time being here. And on my channel, I love to talk about fragrances within my collection and also share some fragrance education. Today's video is all about the master list of Middle Eastern fragrances you need to build your Middle Eastern fragrance collection. Yes, I know the world of Arabic fragrances can almost get overwhelming for some. You know, you hear so many names of fragrances and brands and do not know where to begin. I got you. This is the list to reference. Save this video, like this video so that whenever you need to pick up something for a time or a period, you can always reference this. I have a list of 25 fragrances curated, broken down into seasons, into activities. It's all yours, baby. <laughs> if you'd like to know what these are, why don't you get settled, get hydrated, and let's get into the video. Oh, I'm not going to delve deep into the notes and all of that. It's more about the experiences. And again, all of these fragrances are perfectly unisex. So you see, no big deal. Now let's get into the video. So starting off the list with a category I call Easy Read Fragrances. Now these are fragrances that are perfect year-round. You can wear them to the office, intimate settings, closed spaces. They're pretty approachable and inoffensive fragrances that are enjoyed by everyone, especially when they smell off of you. You would definitely get your compliments. First on this list is Ebha by Rasasi. This is from the Akasama collection. This is a warm, creamy vanilla fragrance with some aspects of green apple, praline, and some other beautiful notes. It's a muted gourmand fragrance. It is not intense. It's not a decadent type of vanilla, but it's more, you know, approachable. There's something mature about it in a nice way. Everyone loves this fragrance. It's pretty popular within the fragrance community. It is just soft but long-lasting. You're going to smell this on your clothes for a good 12 hours or more. Definitely check out this beautiful vanilla fragrance called Ebha. You should add this to your collection. Next is Tarik Gold by Janai Perfumes. This is a floral vanilla fragrance with prominent notes of gardenia as well as vanilla, of course. This to me is elegance in a bottle. It's like quiet luxury. You're not doing too much. It's almost like you're in a very luxurious spa. There's something calming about this fragrance as well. It's one of Janai Perfumes' best sellers, and rightfully so. You know, the more I think about it, this to me is almost like my skin scent, but better. My scent, but better. You know, who doesn't want to smell very luxurious? That's what Tarry Gold for Women feels like, and you should definitely check it out. It creates a beautiful scent bubble around you. When people come around you, they will definitely smell it and compliment you. Who doesn't want to be complimented? Next is Celestial by Emir Palace. I am obsessed with this fragrance. This is one of the most abstract, unique fragrances that I've ever smelled. Yo, there is something metallic and sharp about this fragrance. There's also something, you know, mineral-like here. It's kind of aquatic, kind of salty. You also have a freshness to it. This is so good. It literally smells like you're in a Tiaruba car. My ninja people, luxury car. And I'm talking about a Porsche, a Maserati, a Lamborghini, brand new. That's how this fragrance smells. Listen, if you're a guy and I smell this on you, what? You did follow me, go my papa house. <laughs> no, but seriously though, this smells so good. And when a woman wears this, there's this confidence that she just exudes. It is a beautiful blend. You just need a couple of sprays and you're good to go. Perfect year. Round. Love, love, love this. Now, this is a dupe for a Ganymede by Marc Antoine Barrois. If you don't know that fragrance, definitely look this up. But this, mwah, perfecto. Next is Attic by Junai Performs. Another love of mine. This is like a minty, fresh ice cream. Perfect. Love it. It starts off being um, kind of um, intense and almost cologne-like, but the dry down is where the beauty comes. It becomes creamy, it becomes like a dessert. You just want to smell this more and more on you, and I feel that you should get your nose on this. I love it so, so much. It's very, very addictive, and it's a great fragrance to wear year-round. And last in this category is Kide Our for Sand Unlimited. This is whipped cream made spiciness. I knew I had to add this fragrance to this category because every single time I've worn this, especially at the gym, I get compliments across the year. Who gets compliments at the gym on what they're wearing? 
I do. And that's because of Kyle Alphonse and Unlimited. It is beautiful. It's long lasting, especially on the clothes. But I would say go easy on the trigger because it's on the cusp of getting overwhelming if you do too much. Okay. You do not want to slip on this one. And the best part, the cap is magnetic. I love it. Check it out. So this next category is called date night fragrances. Now, who doesn't love a good date night, right? Best time ever. Okay. Best on the list is Nebras by Latafa. Now look at this bottle. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. Latafa did amazingly well with this. Now, Nebras is fruits with chocolates and sugar. And I mean lots of sugar, okay? But beyond the intensity of all that is the dry down, which is very cozy and just intoxicating. Listen, anyone who smells this on you will want to wrap themselves around you. Once you wear this on date night, you will become the dessert, okay? Okay? <laughs> but seriously, this is so good. Of course, everyone knows this is an alternative or a dupe for Eilish by Billie Eilish, but I'll definitely recommend Nebras. It is much more affordable and has a better performance. Definitely check out Nebras by Latapa. So the second fragrance for date night is... Ishk Alshio Gold by Latafa. If you're a regular on my channel, you must be tired of me mentioning this fragrance, but it's that good. I want everyone to smell really good for date night. This is like caramel with some of the most potent intoxicating fragrance notes just all coming together to give you something very balsamic, very sensual, alluring, and much more. Your partner would also not let you go when they smell this on you. It's really that good. Your image will forever be embedded in their memory if you wear this fragrance. Do not, do not miss out on Ishk Aushio Gold by Latava. It's also an alternative for number five by Rosendo Matteo. I love this so much. This next category is for beast mode fragrances. I'm talking about room fillers and it will leave a very powerful scent trail, okay? It was pretty hard for me to do this because almost all my fragrances here are, but I landed on this four. First in this category is Amber Oud Gold Edition by Aharmin. First of all, I don't even know why they have Oud in the name because there's no presence of Oud here. This is fruity. This is aquatic. It feels kind of watery in the presence and it is just so potent. All you need is four sprays and you're good. Everyone will know that you're around. The good thing about this though is it smells really nice. I remember having someone chase me down the aisle of a supermarket, a large one, to ask me what I was wearing. This is after hours of me spraying this on. You don't need to reapply when you wear Amber Wood Gold Edition. It is so powerful and yeah, it is a great fragrance. Definitely check this out. And talking about a fragrance that has wood, this is... But D R Oud, Oud for Glory by Latafa. This, everyone and their family knows this fragrance, okay? It's a dupe for Oud for Greatness by Initial Performs. This right here, Oud, Saffron coming together to just give you potency and power. My gosh, do not overspray this fragrance, okay? Because it is quite present and dominant and I enjoy it though. This is one of those fragrances that I love to wear, especially for important events or important meetings because it smells really good. It's not like a skanky oud used here. It's quite delicious and that saffron as well just elevates the fragrance. So if you're looking for something really strong, you want to check out Oud for Glory by La Tapa. This fragrance is intense. I'm talking about Club de Nuit White Imperial by Armour. Listen, this is evocative. This is mind blowing. It is powerful. You would think rose and fruits were just delicate. Nah, -uh. not this one. This is so strong. And I love that about this fragrance. I think it's the cashmere and the incense here mixed with the fruits that just gives it that power that it commands when you wear it. It's an absolute room filler. So again, be careful on the sprays. But do you know the best part? People love this in the air. Everyone loves this fragrance because it's an alternative or a dupe for the Lena exclusive. And we know how everyone is in love with that. So I've had men who have given me compliments when they smell this fragrance. Check it out. Club de Nuit Imperial. Powerful, powerful fragrance to have. And the last in the list of Beast Mode fragrances is Amber Time by Afnan. And this is from their Edit Collection. This is as if 
Milk Plus by Commodity and Bakara Rouge 540 came together and had a baby, it's that good. It is warm, it is creamy, it has the sweetness, there's a slight presence of saffron and oud. This is so delicious. I don't know why you all are sleeping on this fragrance. I always get compliments when I wear this. In fact, one time a friend of mine was like, I knew Kiki was in this elevator because they could smell this fragrance. Yeah, you're always going to smell me. I'm hard to miss. <laughs> but yeah, that's how good Amber Time is. And the only gripe I have is that this cap, this thing keeps coming up. It's made of plastic, but who cares? It's not the juice. Definitely check Amber Time out. So now we're stepping into seasons. And the first in here will be for springtime. I already have a dedicated list of my favorite Middle Eastern fragrances for spring. So definitely check that out. I'll link that in this video. But for this, we have four more. First is Yara Moi by La Tapa. This is a fruity white floral fragrance with some caramel and patchouli. That might seem a lot, but I promise you that it works so well. This is like a warm hug because it dries down as something very creamy and lactonic. And that works perfectly for springtime, actually. You know, during spring, we have lots of rain. Sometimes we have very cold days. And Yaramua just fits in perfectly. It's like, again, like a hog. And I just love smelling this around me. Actually, backup bottle, Woody. I bought a backup the minute I smelled this the first time. You have to love patchouli, though, if you want to experience this fragrance. You have to love a very sweet fragrance to truly enjoy this one. So I love it. And it's very potent and long-lasting as well. So let me check out Yaramua by Latafa White. You know I love this one so much because of the dent and the shape of the bottle. I mean, look at this. What is this? Half of the cup is gone. The juice is almost done. I'm talking about Regina by Ajmal. <laughs> this is sweet. This is fruity. This has um, praline again here as a fragrance note. Delicious. Recently, I had a lady run after me and took a picture of me because she was like, you smell so good. And this was on another cold cloudy day here in LA. Uh, it's really, really good. It's very long lasting. I overspray, uh, but you know, I enjoy wearing this in springtime. Now, some people can wear this in summertime, but I would say be careful because the sweetness can become cloying and we don't want that. If you're looking for a sweet, fruity, flirty type of fragrance, definitely check out Regina by Ajma. Men can also wear this one, but I would say maybe put in something with oud to sort of beef off Beef up the fragrance, if you know what I mean. But you know what? Who cares? Wear whatever you want to wear, however, however you want to wear it. This is one of my faves, and it is Regina by Atmel. Next is a very popular one as well within the community, and I'm talking about Jasmine Wisp by Rasasi. This is a fruity cocktail. This is a tropical bomb. This is just in your face overripe sweetness of fruits and yeah you might be like oh that sounds like something for summer no because this is to me too sweet to wear in the heat okay except you're on an island far away and everyone is fine with it but this i think would be a lot to wear in summertime but in springtime the coolness you know just mutes out the overt sweetness that could come to play with this one but it's actually so delicious this is like herbapora on steroids or kirke by tiziana terenzi on steroids it's that potent and long lasting especially on your clothes if you wear this on a leather jacket be sure to smell this for like another week or okay that's too much. Maybe three days, it's still going to be on your clothes. But it's really, really good. I love my fragrances, sweet. And this is no exception. Definitely check out Jasmine Wisp for your overripe, fruity cocktail of a fragrance. Perfect for springtime. And finally is one that I have oversung on this channel. Please don't be tired of me. And this is Floral Bouquet, Souvenir Floral Bouquet by Afnan. This is a rose-based fragrance, kind of similar to Delina, the OG but now I think about it, it's more on its own. It has that rose. It's very fruity as well. It has some floral aspects. It is just delicious. Very, very potent. This has become my signature scent when I go to the African food uh, market. Because the first time I went to that supermarket, 
I had this on and they loved it. I got compliments from different people there. So just for some reason, I guess muscle memory, I always wear it whenever I go there. That being said, it's a beautiful fragrance, very potent. You see what I'm saying? Oh, literally 90% of fragrances here are potent, long lasting. So I think I wasn't doing that, you guys, um, a service of just creating a small list of potent fragrances. You know what? Now I think about it, I owe you all a video for my most beast mode, long lasting fragrances that will choke people. That will make them be like, oh my God, but they will love it. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. Now, definitely add Venom Floral Bouquet by Afnan into your collection. It's just lovely. You will definitely get your compliment. Rose heavy. I think there's some lychee here as well. It's really, really good. So what comes after spring? Summertime. And I've got some fragrances for you. First, we have Kaidal for San by La Tapa. This is the OG before the Flanca Unlimited. This is a beautiful, delicious pineapple with some woodsiness in there, making it slightly smoky. Such a juicy, juicy pineapple. It has a kind of sharp, almost colon-like opening, I must be honest with you, but that is quick to ignore because this just settles into the juiciness of the pineapple. Quite delicious, I must tell you. Compliment magnets, especially in the heat. This one, will take people's breath away. If you want that, if you're willing to snatch souls with the juiciness of the pineapple that comes up with you and the woodsy elements as well, definitely check out Kaid Alpha Sand by La Tafa. This next fragrance has to be in the Middle Eastern Hall of Fame um, for just being a fantastic creation. I am talking about Love Venture Fan by Aharamine. A fragrance so good, I had to get a backup bottle. Have you seen this version of the fragrance before? If you haven't, welcome to the club. It is that good. I think this might be the 4.2 ounce. I can't remember. But yeah, I was like, nah, I cannot be without this fragrance. It's so good. It is long lasting. It smells very rich. It smells very luxurious. There's the salty aquatic presence as well here, which makes it perfect for summertime. There's also the infusion of pineapple. It also has that rich quality to it that just is indescribable. This, of course, is a dupe for Aventus for her by Creed, loved by everyone, that fragrance, and this as well. Literally, if you put it side by side, you may not be able to tell the difference. And I guess that's why everyone gravitates toward this, like, respective of your budget. Once you smell this, you want to cop this, okay? It's worth it. Quality is exceptional. Crazy. I'm talking about days and your clothes. That's how good La Venture Femme really is. I, uh, I enjoy wearing it so much. The pineapple here is, like, kind of salty. I love, love, love it. So definitely, definitely, you want to have this as your summer fragrance. Actually, yeah, this is the summer fragrance. So this next fragrance, I only pull out during summertime. I'm talking about Ornament Parfum by Afna. Look at this bottle. It's just pretty special. Now, this is a salty, warm vanilla with some orange blossom making it kind of juicy and perfect for summertime this feels like sweat and sweetness like you're at a beach party or uh, you're on an island and just having a good time that is the smell of this fragrance like it is there's something sensual about it as at the same time as it being kind of bubbly and that's why i say summertime is the only period i can wear this fragrance like i literally cannot stand the saltiness during other periods like why do i want to wear this in fall it makes no sense but definitely check it out long lasting as well everyone loves this and i think you should definitely add this to your collection next is master hair by old elite this to me is roses vanille mixed with herbapura so you're having the sugar sweetness of roses vanille and then you have the fruitness of herbapura giving me what i call a delicious fruit salad bowl i mean who doesn't want to smell like a fruit salad bowl in summertime? I mean, what is the point? I want to smell decadent. I want to smell like you can eat a fruit salad bowl off. Okay, shut up here. <laughs> but no, seriously, this is so good. It's quite juicy as well and very long lasting. Perfect for some. I think that this is the only time it's convenient to wear because of the way it really performs and projects off of my skin anyway. 
I will try my best to add the link to this fragrance in the description so at least you can get your hands on it. But definitely check out Master Hair by Wood Elite, another brand from the Middle East. And finally, for summer fragrances, we have more pineapple. I mean, who doesn't want more pineapple? This is Supremacy, not only intense by Afnan. This is grilled pineapple with some woodsy notes and some intense notes as well, giving it a very rich, powerful long-lasting fragrance for you to wear i mean 24 hours plus you're going to smell in this like as if you just literally spray this on that's how strong this fragrance is i think it's probably the amber gray here or something i don't know but it is so strong now this smells a lot like um hachibat by nishane some say it, it grabs it gravitates towards uh a creed by Aventus, but i think it's more of nishane Hachivat than that but this is so good a lot of men are have this as their summer signature scent and rightfully so it's such a great scent like once you smell this in the heat you will fall in love with whoever you smell this on so you want to be extra careful and men also love this this is also one of those sillage monsters i don't know why i didn't add this i guess i wanted to reserve this for summertime beast mode fragrance long lasting fragrance smells so good in summertime you want to definitely check this out. final category fall and winter based fragrances Ugh, it's my favorite time of the year we're going to start off this list with french coffee by our rehab please try to get your nose on this if you can this is a rich coffee infused fragrance it is so gorgeous this is like a cup of caramel uh frappuccino like a cappuccino or something it's really good the dry down ugh, very addictive you're gonna get wafts of it or whiffs of it in the air throughout the day it's so long lasting special fragrance i'm so sad that this is pretty hard to come by because i want everyone to experience this fragrance but if you can definitely get your nose on this especially if you love the notes of coffee in your fragrances next we have matched also tan by astav Look at this bottle, first of all. It's suede, you know, it has a metal placement here. There's leather here. This doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it feels very luxurious, but the juice, oh my gosh, this is smokiness. This is tobacco with some incense. Oh, it is strong, it is bold. I always say that if I'm ever a celebrity, this will be one of the fragrances that I'm going to wear on the red carpet because of how good it is. It's very confidence inducing a fragrance. I love it so much like it's gonna draw people to you that's how good this fragrance is and it lasts like it literally lasts on your clothes for days and what i love to do to sweeten it up is to bring in amir our oud intense oud by latafa another fantastic fragrance for fall and winter time put this two together my secret word one you cannot tell me nothing when i combine these fragrances especially in fall and winter oh my gosh you are going to be that girl that smells like nobody else compliments galore i've gotten from this combo and you should definitely check both of them out perfect fragrances for fall and winter now amir wood smells like literally burnt sugar and wood and vanilla i mean who doesn't want to smell like that so addictive the older it stays the more it macerates the more potent it gets and i've had this for going to three plus years or more and it just keeps getting better and better people say this reminds them of by the fireplace by mr martin magella if you go with that then that's cool but this mwah, perfection these two amazing and finally a fragrance that had everyone rumbling and stumbling and fumbling i'm talking about camera by latafa this one did a number on everyone was it last year everyone wanted to get their hands on it because it's so good a fragrance definitely worth the hype this is a beautiful uh cinnamon nutmeg heavy fragrance that has some balsamic and creamy qualities as well long lasting okay the beautiful thing about this is it evokes memory of family like i feel that this just reminds me of like friendship and love and family and spending time with the ones you care about at the end of the year that's how i always feel whenever i wear this fragrance it's really that good i don't really recommend it for any other time of the year except that period it is long lasting it would stay on your clothes for a good day or more delicious delicious fragrance now i do not think that this is a dupe of angel shibakirian this is more or less like a distant cousin if i'm being honest with you but you know it is what it is Latava did a fantastic job with this fragrance and what better fragrance to round up our 
curated list than camera elatafa the one and only thank you so much for being here with me now these are what i would recommend to you as you begin your journey into the world of instant fragrance wearing but i promise you these are just drops in the wide ocean that is middle eastern fragrances okay there's so many fragrances to explore and experience and i can't wait to bring them to you i have so many middle eastern based fragrance ideas and videos coming right up i can't wait for you to see them please like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't share it with your family and friends i thank you so much are there fragrances you feel should have made the list please let me know in the comment section and the fragrances you feel i should get my nose on please share them as well one thing you need to remember is you are so amazing, like your greatness is right in front of you. I want you to grab it, own it, claim it, show the world your greatness. I see you and I can't wait for the world to see you as well.